I don't know how you guys feel about building with the terrain tool, but I'm personally a little bit scared of it. I find it really difficult, but sometimes we've got to challenge ourselves. Sometimes you got to use the terrain tool and come up with something cool and different. We're going to be building a house in a hill. Now I know what some of you guys are thinking. But Deli, you did that build only a few months ago. We did, we built a modern house in a hill. And I had mentioned in that video that I also wanted to do a cozy woodland version. So if you didn't see that video, definitely check it out. That was a good build. I'll link it in the description down below. Today's build is going to be inspired by the book I've just read, The Hobbit. You might have heard of it. In The Hobbit, hobbits live in hills. And there's this one particular hill called Bag End, and it's like the grandest hobbit home in the Shire, which is the town they live in. And it is so cute, you guys. It has circular doors, it has a beautiful tree on top of the hill. We're going to be inspired by this. We won't recreate it exactly because I did try to recreate it, but the floor plan was just not translating well in the game with all the corridors and the size of it. I could not put a convincing hill on top of it with the Sims 4 terrain tool. So do forgive me for that. Just before we get into it, a reminder, you can use the code word Deligracy if you purchase any Sims titles from the EA app or EA.com. Just use the code word Deligracy at checkout as the promo code and that helps support me as a creator. Thanks guys for your support. So first up with this build, I started with trying to do the big floor plan and it was a mess, you guys. So then I decided to restart again with a basic square room, a nice rounded roof, and then I'm putting these uh, diagonal roofs on either side and curving it just so we can create the illusion of this home being built in a hill. The way we do this is we change the roof type to a grass roof and then we lay with the move objects on cheat a whole heap of greenery on top as well as a tree because we want it to look like a hobbit hill and it ends up looking pretty good in my opinion. So if you do want to give this a go, you can definitely download it off the gallery and check out uh, how I made it, or you might be able to just make it from the video anyway. I think it actually looks pretty convincing. One thing I wanted to make sure is that we had windows on both sides of the build so that we could have bedrooms with windows at the back of the house and also a door going to a nice backyard. In The Hobbit, hobbits are known as very, very much creatures of comfort, which I very much relate to. They love food. They love usually not going on adventures and just being very comfortable in life. Although obviously the whole story is about a big adventure. So the hobbits you read about in the book or you see in the movie are a little bit different to most hobbits, but most hobbits love being comfortable. They love food. I think it says they have multiple pantries and cellars with lots of food in there. So we're going to have a couple of pantries and a cellar, lots of food, a cozy vibe, and it's just, it's gonna be the cutest house, you guys. Right now we are just manipulating the terrain around the house, raising it up, smoothing it out. I'm putting in some, not circular walls, because I didn't feel like we had windows that would work on those circular walls that would suit the build, because they're more like art deco and modern. So I decided to do angled walls kind of in a round, uh, in a rounded shape. And hopefully that plays into the idea of the Hobbit house having rounded rooms, um, even though it's not legit round. <laughs> but hopefully you guys can kind of get the vibe that I'm going for. And we are going to use circular windows because we do have those in the game. And right now I've just created a general floor plan. Uh, we are going to be placing just random furniture in here to get an idea of the scale of the rooms of what each room is going to be used for. So don't worry, we are going to be changing all of the furniture here. We are right now on a middle wall height, but we're going to lower it just because I think it looks a lot better with the hill. And basically I'm just doing this first part as a speed build, but we are going to be furnishing it in real time together. Really because I find terrain tool difficult to work with and I cannot multitask whilst building and speaking to you guys while I do it. So I'd rather just film it as a speed build at the start. And then we've got the beautiful movie hangout stuff pack tree that has lanterns on it, you guys. You're gonna love it in night mode. And then we're just using a whole heap of different foliage over the top of the house with a grass roof. It's gonna start looking like a hill, hopefully. This is my favorite foliage to use. There's actually from the Island Living Pack. 
I just feel like it spreads so well over the hill and I use my bracket keys to size it up, size it down. Having both scaled up and scaled down foliage makes it look quite good. And I love all of these wildflowers as well because in the movie, they definitely have wildflowers all over the hills surrounding the Hobbit houses. It's very pretty. You could maybe create Hobbit Sims if you wanted to, or you could have regular Sims live here or occult sims like a spellcaster. This house would really suit. We're also going to be using some custom content today by Pierism. When we do use custom content, I like to focus on one or two creators so it's not too overwhelming to download. So we're going to have a lot of woodland beautiful items to use and pantry items too. Now this is a members video I just released yesterday where I showed a bit of bonus behind the scenes content where I just added to the build in my own time, we got some rooms off the gallery that had harvestables in them. So we could already start the build with big giant crops. The giant crops look a little bit more magical too and fictional, I guess. So I thought that suited the build. And yeah, we did a little bit of work on this um, yesterday for the members content and worked more on the foliage as well and the wallpapers just so it's all ready for us to furnish today. Let's jump into the furnish and see how we go. All right, so this is currently what our little hill house is looking like. Super cute. I put some fencing in from debug mode or live edit mode. We've got the round windows at the front, thatched roofs, uh, thatched circular roofs. And I love the wisteria over the door archway. Love it. And then this tree from Movie Stuff Back looks so good at nighttime. Wait for it. There we go. Doesn't that look pretty? I love that tree with the lanterns. And then if we circle around the back, we go right around. This is our little farming area. I just want to be a hobbit, you guys. They're such beautiful, cozy creatures. They just want to have their two dinners a day and have a cup of tea. A little campfire here. Let's have a look at where we're at for the interior. So I furnished the entrance room to give us a little bit of a vibe and I've picked some wallpapers to get us started as well. So let's start with the kitchen over here. These two rooms are going to be pantry cellars. And like I mentioned earlier, we're going to be using some custom content by Pierre. I felt like we needed to use custom content for this build because I really wanted the pantries and cellars to be really convincing. So Pierism has a pack called Pantry Party and of course I will link all of the custom content in the description down below if you want to download it. And this is such a good pack you guys because you get all of this pantry storage. You know you can use different pieces to create uh, the pantry look and feel that you want. Even in pastel colors, I mean, how cute. We should do a, a cute, cozy pastel apartment with some of these items or like a tiny home. Uh, do we wanna go around the entire room? Yeah, let's just go for it. I also love the fact that it's called Pantry Party as well, great name. And then we've got so many great items like cans in all different swatches. So every shelf can look a little bit different. Nothing's gonna look the same. Cereal box. Yes, I'm a huge fan of cereal, you guys. Can lids. Oh wait, no, those are not lids. I thought they were stacked lids, but it's just it's just cans without labels on them. I think my favorite thing are all of these jars and the baskets. Because I'm wondering if we want to go with this Hobbit fictional kind of woodland vibe, maybe we should go with more of the traditional looking jars and things like that. The other good thing is a lot of these jars are quite oversized looking, which means that when you size them down, they actually look really good as well. This just makes me really feel like eating um, canned peaches. Love canned peaches. It's got some piles of dishes in here as well. Bowls. And I love this basket of goodies. Oh, and I love the dustpan and broom and oh, sacks of potatoes. That's cool. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I'm obsessed. Oh, this is so awesome. Oh my gosh. Man, I love custom content. Okay, so one pantry done, and then I was gonna put another pantry over here, maybe that looks a little different. Uh, maybe we'll put more sacks of things hanging on the walls in here. There's also a pantry freezer that you can pop in here. They just like put heaps of these things drying. 
drying out, or not even drying out, what are they doing? They're just being stored. I've actually grown my own potatoes the last couple of years, and oh my gosh, growing your own potatoes is the best thing ever. It's so easy. Australia has really harsh soil. Like Australia is not a country that grows vegetables easily. It's just a lot of the country isn't very lush, especially in summer, it's very dry. So if we can grow potatoes, I feel like most places can grow potatoes. And you just stick them in the ground and then a few months later, you got potatoes and they taste so good. I reckon you could even grow, well, those are really tiny. I reckon you could grow potatoes even in an apartment. Just get like, you can get these potato growing bags that have a little Velcro window and you could just put one of those on your balcony with some soil and have them grow from there. We've also got these broomsticks, lovely. Okay, what else can we pop in here? The other thing that's awesome about custom content shelving is that you can stack everything on them. You know how a lot of the Sims shelves, you can only put like a couple of things on there and they don't fit into the slots. Ah, fruitcake. Yeah, well, custom content, there's so many slots on every shelf. You can just fit everything on there. Love that. Ooh, wood. We need this wood for our fireplaces. Would it be weird to have some paint buckets in the pantry? Probably. We could put this in the pantry, the <laughs> festive decorations. Pumpkins? I actually tried to grow some pumpkins as well, but that didn't work for me. They got um this thing called powdered mildew and then they just died, so. That was not a win. Now this wallpaper is from the Home Chef Hustle Kit. If anyone is wondering, it's a fun wallpaper. But I think for the counters, we could either go for cottage living counters, which could definitely work for this build. Or we've got the country charm counter, which could also work. Or Pierism has a woodland ranch pack. That could kind of be cool too. Um, these might look too modern because they have a clay rustic look. So um, I think I'm leaning towards cottage living. If we can pick a good colorway, maybe we should just go all green. Let's have a green moment. And then I got a whole heap of pots and pans out before we started to potentially use in this room as well. We just want a very cozy look and feel. We have a nice cottagey range hood. This one, or even this one, that's a bit bit too long. I like that this one's quite warm. Oh wow, look at this stove, that's cool as. But I do like this one, also from Cottage Living. It's just, it's just the whole set, isn't it? Why do these shelves, they just don't look that great stacked, do they? It's got this sticky outy bit, it just looks a little odd. Uh, maybe we should do the other range hood. Yeah, we'll do that because it ties in with it. And just do the one shelf there. And then unfortunately, I don't want to double this shelf because it has the exact same decorative objects on it. Why don't we merge with this pack? Doesn't have to look absolutely perfect. Yeah, I think we could get away with that. No one will know except for you guys. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> oh yeah, we can tuck some plates under here. I forget how effective it can be to mix and match different countertops and cabinet styles. Cause you kind of have to, you kind of feel like you have to keep to one style, but that's really not the case. We need a rustic looking bin. What bin would hobbits have used? Maybe this style of bin? For a dining table, I was thinking of going with a circular table over here near a fireplace with some cottagey looking chairs. Maybe even mismatched chairs. Love this one from Cottage Living. Some red spots on it. This one's great from Cats and Dogs. All with the flower pattern. And these are beautiful chairs. These are by PRSM Woodland Ranch chairs. And these chairs remind me of Snow White, like the original cartoon movie. And I don't know why, is it, are there chairs in that movie that look like this? I haven't seen it since I was very young, I think. And then one more chair, maybe this ranch one in a green to tie it in. We need a fire, um, what's the thing you, a fire guard, a fireplace guard that you put in front of it. I thought we had one of those, but maybe I'm thinking of one that came with custom content. Do we have that in base game? I don't think we do. Then we need a nice, flower arrangement on the table. I mean, that's that's a little much. That's definitely not going to fit. Maybe a CC glass. This one's from Pierism's Domaine du Clou. These are gorgeous. I'm kind of tempted to maybe turn this into a bit of a feature wall here with some wood along it. Then we can use a couple of these pillars. Yeah, that'll make it look slightly more cozy. We need a rug. What about Batu cobblestone rug? It's not like a furry rug. 
a fabric rug that it's a little bit of definition on the floor kind of kind of a vibe maybe a lamp lamps make everything feel cozy although we already have a lot of wall sconce lights perhaps we need a cozy chair in the corner here as well Oh, that's cool. Love the pattern on this, the gingham. Gingham is inherently cozy. Like if fabric were the dictionary, gingham would mean cozy. If that makes sense to anyone else's brain. <laughs> that makes sense to mine. I like these paintings from Woodland Ranch. And this big one might fit on this wall quite nicely too. Or we could put a couple of them on the wall. Yeah, this could be the misty mountains on the wall. Okay, let's get back to our kitchen. So I was playing around with the idea of having the lower cabinets a darker color, but I think they do look nice as a light green. Kind of run them along this wall, but I think it looks weird in the light green swatch. If we go for a darker swatch, it's less obvious that it doesn't look quite right. Let's maybe do a little additional kitchen cabinet area over here. More saucepans and stuff in there. And then maybe instead of having island benches, which to me feel like a more modern day thing, we could go with a rustic prep table in the middle, like something like that, or this one looks older from Get Together. Oh, you know what would be good? The table from the greenhouse pack, like a work table. Yeah, the shed shelves table. We could even have a bit of a half wall moment like this with a bit of the stonework on it. Actually, that's a really short wall. Let's make that, okay, that's too big. Now we're gonna go through every wall height to get the one that we want. I swear I spent my life going through half wall heights, trying to find the right height. <laughs> Pop a couple of pillars in. Yeah, I like this. It's kind of a little bit higgledy-piggledy. It's a little all over the place, but it feels cozy to me. And then it works as both a gardening bench top and a kitchen bench top, which I love. I always forget that you can actually place things on top of the half walls. I mean, mind you, not many things fit up here. They have to be spread super far apart, but you can, you can put a few things up here. We need more shelves. Ooh, washboards are kind of old school style. When in doubt, just place lots of jars. When in doubt, just place jars and clutter. And before you know it, we have a cute kitchen. I feel like we need something just here, but what would we put there? A mac and cheese cauldron. We could do a flower arrangement table. I mean, there's a lot going on, but it is teeming with the theme. Woodworking table. Actually, maybe we go with that. That just looks better to my eye. Why do I feel like we need more rugs here? We don't have enough rugs. We need layered rugs in this section. Ooh, Woodland Ranch rug. Okay. Could do like a little something like this or like that. Oh yeah, that's nice. So kitchen area and pantries look amazing. Let's jump on over to the lounge room here. So this is a pretty big lounge room. So we can have multiple areas to sit in or maybe have some skill building items in. I've already got the tea sets out ready to go because our hobbits love tea. I thought this chest looked Old school. Okay, we need a nice cozy looking rug from growing together, the roses on it. I love this chair, so I'm just gonna pull that out. I don't think it's big enough or comfortable looking enough for our main so far, but it is a start. This one's really nice, also from growing together. I do like it comes in the green color. That seems to be a bit of a running theme in this house. Oh, we've got Pierism's couches. There's this one. These are both from Woodland Ranch. Or oh, there's the Domain Duclos one as well. Oh my gosh, love that. I feel like I'm sold on this couch. This gingham is cozy. I love this base game trunk coffee table. There are some base game items that are so good and I have forever been using them. And this is one of them. Part of me wants to mismatch this couch. Or could this one go in this corner? No, that doesn't look cozy enough. We could go a blue couch here on the other side and then we definitely need lamps. That's a lovely looking lamp right there. Or do we wanna put it in this corner and then maybe put the table on the other side? Okay, now, now I'm starting to feel a little coziness. What about you guys? Maybe we can match the chair to the couch. Is that a match? Put that in the corner. Do we want two of those? Hopefully that fire doesn't burn the house down because of all the objects around it. I put down some stone underneath it, okay? Okay, how's this looking? And do we want a TV in here? Or I, I feel like the TV doesn't really suit the theme because hobbits didn't have TVs or don't have TVs. They are far too innocent for that, for the, the thing shown on TV these days. Let's have a storage unit 
behind the couch with some more knickknacks. Oh, fruitcake? Yes, they love fruitcake. They love food. Food needs to be everywhere. Those little globes, cute, very adventurous. Ah, oh, picture frame. Yes. And then we need another rug because rugs are cozy. I wonder how many times I've said cozy in this build. Okay, so we've got another rug there. We need some paintings on the wall. Something above the fireplace. We need a portrait of Bilbo Baggins up here. Or Gandalf. These pictures look a bit adventurous. Yeah, I feel like that could work. Ooh, yes. These look magical and mystical. Oh no, we have two of these globes. It must be so fun being a set designer. I mean, I'm sure it's quite a stressful job and it would be really hard to please everyone. But once you work your way up in the world and people would just listen to you and you had the final say that would be such an awesome job just creating convincing worlds and environments and made up stories oh the best actually maybe that should be down there there is no shortage of drinks being offered in this household see this silhouette that's that's an elf. You know what's so funny there's a character in Lord of the Rings called Tom Bombadillo and they from what I understand, they completely wrote him out of the movies because he's so weird. And they were probably like, we have no idea what to do with this character. <laughs> they just like completely wrote him out. And I love him. He like sings all of these songs. And maybe they wrote it out because he kind of sounds like he captured a female character. So actually I can see why they didn't include him. It's slightly questionable. Oh, that's a good bookshelf. There's a nice bookshelf. But yeah, there must be some interesting Reddit conversations out there about Tom, old Tom Bombadillo. Oh, that's another good bookcase. Oh, actually, is that a bit much? It's It's got a lot going on in it. I feel like it overpowers the room. Oh, maybe in a lighter color, it's a little less. And I'm, I'm not feeling it, you guys, tossed. What about this little one? Yeah, that's better. Okay, and then in this corner where I've thrown a whole heap of different chairs, I thought this would be a nice spot for a rocking chair. You can just do a little bit of knitting, look out the window, we'll save this chair maybe for one of the bedrooms. We definitely don't have enough rugs here, so let's add another one. And this is essentially our knitting crochet creative corner. How's the lighting looking inside of this house? Do we have enough lights in here? Okay, it looks like we have too many lights in here, so let's maybe go for a couple of sconce lights in the corner. Why is it so bright in this room? Maybe we get rid of this lamp. Yeah, that's looking a bit more cozy. Otherwise, it's it's too bright, you know? Okay, love the lounge room other... Except for this rug. This rug just doesn't look quite right. Maybe it needs to be darker. No, it's just, it's not working for me, folks. Why is my rug not working for me? Maybe no rug here because we've got so many rugs. Or maybe the problem is this rug. It's just a little much. We could size, no, that's too much too. We went too far with the rugs. There's too many rugs. Okay, we'll go that rug there. No rug here. Okay, amazing. So in here's going to be the main bedroom and an ensuite. I thought this item from Laundry Day Stuff was really cute to fill up the bathroom a little bit. And then these items are from PRism Auntie Vera bathroom pack, which is a really cute pack. And I love the dusty rose color. I'm just not sure if we can fit everything in. No, the Sims should be able to use this bathroom. Okay, so we've got that, we've got this. Need a little mirror on the wall. That's way too modern. That sits quite high up the wall for my liking. That's vampire themed. We need like a, a wooden, that's nice. A wooden mirror is a good option. A little toilet paper, cause even hobbits need toilet paper. Actually, what did they use in the olden days for toilet paper? I actually don't know. Rags that were washed? Just water? Was there no toilet paper? What did people do? I've never thought about this before. I know we don't actually have laundry stuff in here and I also know hobbits are very short, but for the purpose of and the fact of this game being The Sims. We'll just put some of this decor on the wall as well, just cause it looks cool. I can't help but feel like we need something underneath the sink. Maybe the laundry day bucket of cleaning stuff. Cause if hobbits love guests, they would probably be constantly cleaning and cooking. Okay, that is very cozy, cute looking bathroom in there. Now for this bedroom, We've got our wood pile, our, what do you call this? Tools, fire tools. Oh, I have another clock. Maybe instead of the plates on the wall, we put the clock on the wall here. Oh yeah, that's a vibe. I love this wallpaper with the pinky stripes and the green. 
and the cream, and I feel like it ties in with the rosy pink color in the bathroom. And the bed we are going to be using, I'm very excited about because it's a full poster, amazing, beautiful bed. Wait, where is it? Oh, here it is. Woodland Ranch double bed frame with canopy. Oh my gosh, how perfect is this? Oh, does it come with a bed? Oh man, we're gonna have to get a, the actual bedding. Because a lot of CC creators, they kind of assume you already have bedding that will fit this that they've already created so they don't put more in the pack. But I am i never have the bedding because I clear out my CC every time. Okay, so I'll have to restart with some bedding. But for now, let's just do the rest of the room. We have these really cute bedside tables. I think the Sims can get around them. Well, actually, maybe we might be pushing it. Probably need to play a test that. Oh, yes, candlesticks. Oh, that's pretty, this table lamp. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty little flowers on it. Man, Pierreism's good. Our favorite armchairs making another appearance. I like that this looks like you can put your feet up on the stool. And let's stack some books from the Book Nook kit. These books are so handy. I always use these. The Book Nook kit was such a great kit. If you're looking for a kit, that one I do recommend. It's just so versatile. We need to squeeze in a wardrobe somehow. This is the Pierreism Woodland Ranch one. Mm, it's quite big for this space. Maybe just these base game drawers. Like I said, sometimes base game, you can't beat a little bag down here ready to go on their adventure. Okay, so that room's basically done. We just need to get the bedding for it at the end. Make sure to save your work always. Okay, this room I thought would be a good guest room. I'm gonna turn this into an underground cellar area in the middle. So we'll put a bed in here as well. We will get bedding for it. Don't worry, it's not gonna be just like that. That would be a bit of a problem, wouldn't it? Size down this rug. I really, really wanna use this chair somewhere, but I think I'm trying to make it happen and it's just not gonna happen. Like I'm trying to force it. I think we're better off putting a wardrobe here. Oh, that's pretty. That's a big wardrobe. I mean, I guess wardrobes are pretty big, come to think of it. I love the candles next to the bed. It's very romantic and peaceful. Oh, I also love this light from werewolves. Actually, you know what? I wanna use this light. This light's so cute. I want it on both sides. Ah, oh, this can be a map of Mordor. <laughs> oh, not Mordor, Mid-Earth. Mordor is like the evil realm. These are bath towels that guests can use. Okay, before anyone's like, what is that? Okay, that's a lovely, a lovely guest room. I think I like that more than the main room, actually, if I'm being honest. All right, and then I've just done this beautiful bathroom in here that's blue. So this is the main bathroom. And then just through here is a secret, a secret bookshelf that leads to our study that does have a window, so it's not actually that secret. But because in The Hobbit they go on adventures, they collect things, uh, I thought we could maybe have a collectible shelf in here. Oh, this is one of my favorite pieces. I just love these rich swatches. Like this green swatch is everything with this wallpaper. Okay, how we, we have so much stuff in here to use. I got all of this stuff using show hidden objects cheap, live edit cheat, mostly show hidden objects cheat because that'll unlock all of these collectibles. Wait, is it show hidden objects or bb.unlock? I think it's show hidden objects. And put some fossils on here. We got a golden frog. Why can't I put anything on the middle shelves? You can only place snow globes on this. Maybe we can put a collectible shelf over on this side that will hold potentially a few more items. Oh, we can fit a few in this cabinet. Okay, I'll just manually put things on top of it. This room would be quite dark, I feel. Dark and cozy, secretive. Let's get our snow white chair in here. There's this really great pile of stacked books um, in this pack by Pierism, and they're actually made to fit into a fireplace, which is very cool. But I just wanna make them look like just a huge stack of books. Other than it intersecting the candelabra, I think it looks pretty good. So that's a slight fire hazard. Okay, and that's our, our little den. Okay, and for this cellar, we need to get horse ranch, wine barrels, wine storage, all of this good stuff. Or I should say nectar making. Actually, we could fit this entire thing onto the wall. I want it to look more like storage though, as opposed to a bar. Yeah, so let's get these big wine barrels and stacks and stacks of bottles. Yeah! I feel like they should have made these stack, but then again, they do work like uh, tables, don't they? You actually put stuff on them. Oh, no, you can't. Yeah, they should have 
made them stackable. You know, one thing I just thought of is how much they love music in Lord of the Rings, and we don't have any music in this household. Perhaps this shortwave shindig radio will kind of look old school. I don't know, I'm not really familiar with those, the history of where they came from or anything. And we could have a guitar or something. Actually, I guess the wine bottle storage is stackable. So that is... That is something. Yes, let's have a guitar in here. Okay, well, I think we're done with the furnish. I'm gonna go ahead and get our beds ready and then we'll do the grand tour. Okay, so I ended up getting the bedding from PRism Oak House part five. All of the custom content will be linked in the description down below. Okay, everyone, here is our hill house. I really hope you guys like it. There's little chimneys there. We have our garden out the back and some pathways that kind of go around it. And I'm excited to actually go inside. We go down our little path. When you go through the original archway, there's just a clothes hanging hook over here, some harvestables, and to the other side, shoes and a pail. We go through the door. Here's our entrance room. Very cozy. And then this is looking back at the door. Where should we go first? The kitchen? Oh my gosh, look at the dining area. I want to come here for dinner. And the chair and the fireplace. And then here is our kitchen. There's a lot going on in the kitchen. Saucepans hanging. And then we've also got the other counter area over here. And then we have our first pantry. These hobbits need multiple. Oh my gosh, how awesome is this party pantry pack? I love it so much. Oh, that's just so satisfying. And then let's go to the other pantry. Oh, the saucepans are hanging in here. I didn't realize I put that item in here. Does that even work? I kind of don't mind it, but you definitely have to like lower your head when you went in. Although if it really was a hobbit living here, they could walk under it because they're short. Okay, let's go across to the living area. Do, 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 do. Come for a cup of tea. And here's our living room. There is a bit of clipping just from the rounded roofs, um, but you could make the eave a little higher and then it I don't think it'll clip in. But this is our very cozy and also very cluttered and busy lounge room. Lots of tea to be had, music and stories to be shared. I think that looks pretty awesome. We've got a book nook here and our sewing crafty corner. Okay, let's go to the hallway. Okay, what's in here? This is our cellar. Oh yeah, so this goes into just a storage area. And then if we go down the ladder, this is our dark wine cellar. Very nice. Okay, let's head back out. We'll head to the guest room. Room to our left. Here's the bedding. Like I said, it's from Oak House Part 5, but also by Pierism. I would stay in this room. It's very cozy. I need a new word for cozy. I've said it a gazillion times in this video. It's very quaint. Actually, no, it's kind of extravagant. And then if they need to use the bathroom, this is our main bathroom. Blue gingham, can't go wrong. A lovely wooden toilet seat, nightgown, or not a nightgown. A gown. What could be in here? Oh, wow. It's an office. It's a secret study. Oops, I forgot about those postcards on the ground. Look at all of these books stacked and collectibles, messages in bottles. This is where the crazy stuff goes down. And then we'll go to the other end where there's the main bedroom. Which bedroom would you rather? I think I like the, the guest room more. Although I would like my own ensuite, that would be pretty cool. I just love these beds, they're such a cool design. We've got our dresser there, mirror, fireplace. And then this is our little rose ensuite, dusty rose. Beautiful color. And then if we go out here, we have the area I did with my members, which is our crops. It's a really pretty area. I actually wanted to place this lot in Glimmerbrook, um, but there wasn't a lot big enough for it because I think to get to fit the hill over the house, I think I had to use a 50 by 50 lot. So it's pretty big, pretty sizey. Yeah, that is our hill house. Let me know what you thought of this build. Did you like it? Do you have any other ideas for builds or build challenges? Please let me know. As always, I want to say a huge thank you to my members. I hope you guys are enjoying the bonus videos. Thank you for your amazing support on this channel. And also, if you can't become a member and you want to support, you can always use my code word Delicracy if you purchase any Sims game via the EA app or EA.com. Just use code Delicracy at the checkout in the promo code section. Yeah, let me know if you have any ideas, comment down below what you think. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to speaking to you all soon. Duck, duck.